Oh, here we go again. It's time for us to take another crack at putting SCP-682 six feet under once and for all. If you've been following this channel for any amount of time, then there's one thing you know for certain. SCP-682 is harder to kill than pretty much, well, anything. We've made multiple videos on the Foundation's failed attempts to finally terminate the beast, and we've made a video with some of your ideas on how to finally slay the monster. And considering you're watching this video right now, you can probably guess how that went. Now it's time for one more run at the Death Star. And once again, it's with your ideas from comments and community post responses. Let's see if any of them can help us finally put this ill-tempered reptile to rest. If we can't, well, we're not blaming you, but it's also your fault. Let the community termination attempts commence. Anas McBride suggested, ask the witch child. SCP-239, also known as the witch child, is one of the most dangerous and powerful anomalies out there. She's a small girl with unparalleled reality-warping mental abilities, so powerful that her very brainwaves alone can be passively fatal. However, the problem is, her power is so potentially dangerous that she's forever kept in a kind of medically-induced anomalous coma. Dr. Alto Kleth thinks she's so dangerous he's even campaigning to have her terminated. As a result, the O5 Council has forbidden any cross-testing between 682 and 239. Fearing the consequence of 682 gaining 239's powers and becoming a truly unstoppable threat capable of causing an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. Syed Zamin Ali Shah Kazimi Mushadi suggested, kill him with SCP-734. This is an interesting one. SCP-734, also known as the baby, is an anomaly that causes a painful degenerative disease that eventually disintegrates the entire body and kills the victim if they so much as come into contact with the baby or its fluids. However, based on cross-tests with other similar touch-it-and-die anomalies like SCP-409, the contagious crystal, we can probably guess how exactly this would go down. In all likelihood, the baby's anomalous effects would infect and destroy large portions of SCP-682's body. However, at this point, 682 would adapt to the threat and begin to reverse it and heal. Even worse, it's likely that 682 would steal the ability for a limited time and become deadly to the touch. Caden Griffin suggested, Why don't you use the Dragon Slayer to terminate 682? It has proved itself many times in fights with LSAs. SCP-5514 The Dragon Slayer is essentially a giant fighting robot designed to take down killer kaijus with its plethora of state-of-the-art anomalous weapons and defenses. However, we'd still argue that while it could definitely help in immobilizing 682 during a rampage, it doesn't have much of a chance of actually killing it. Let's look at SCP-001, the Gate Guardian, a supernatural warrior with a blade hotter than the sun, capable of cleaving atoms in half. Even he couldn't kill SCP-682. So, a robotic approximation with only a fraction of the Gate Guardian's power is probably not going to have any real chance of killing 682. I'm a Chuckster 48 suggested, make it bite its tongue so hard that it just destroys itself. While we can certainly attest from personal experience that this really, really hurts, we worry that if ever 682 bit its own tongue really hard, it'd just drive it into a state of murderous rage. Though we do take a small piece of satisfaction in knowing its tongue would probably be in distress for a few minutes afterwards, it's unlikely to wipe out the beast once and for all. Lazy Royce suggested, how about we just put SCP-682 in 2317's cell? SCP-2317 is an old wooden door that functions as a portal into the domain of the planet-destroying monster known as the Devourer of Worlds, a being that many believe is associated with the Scarlet King and will inevitably escape and cause an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. While you may be thinking, perhaps it'll kill 682, it's more likely that it'll collaborate, seeing as they both want the same thing, namely, to kill everyone. If you let 682 in, chances are it'll come back through the door with the Devourer right on its tail. Then, it's all of our problems. Guest 123116 suggested, drop him in Russia so they can terminate him. The Foundation has technically already tried this. They dropped 682 into SCP-3930, a patch of literal non-existence in Russia that causes anything that goes inside of it to cease to exist. And afterwards, he was fine. So yeah, dropping him anywhere in Russia is probably just going to get a bunch of innocent Russian civilians killed. Meischer said, The Foundation shouldn't worry about how to kill him, but how to stop his ability to adapt. 
I would suggest typing SCP-682 no adaptability juice or something like that into SCP-294 and then kill him by any means. Which should kill him forever. An interesting theory. But what if he simply adapts to SCP-682 no adaptability juice? Then we'd really all be in trouble. Mario TGP said, Give him a Twitter account, he'll be cancelled instantly for his spicy opinions. SCP-682 would cancel Twitter itself for not having opinions that are spicy enough. Sorry, Jack. SCP-096, still sore about losing the battle, we assume, said, Let him fight the Queen of England. After all, she's immortal too. We definitely think it would be interesting to see SCP-682 go head-to-head -head with the Queen of England. Based on all the knighting she does, we know that she at least has a sword, though we don't know if that sword is as powerful as the one wielded by the Gate Guardian. But regardless of the outcome, the battle would definitely change history. Every history book would simply read, SCP-682 punched the Queen. Everything else would just be a footnote. Noah Cordero said, Use SCP-2935 to kill the lizard. As you can see in the video, he will die. SCP-2935, also known as O-Death, is probably one of the scariest and deadliest SCPs out there. It killed an entire alternate dimension, including an alternate SCP-682. The problem is, putting R-682 into 2935's alternate reality could lead to the destruction of our entire dimension. Why is that? Because if 682 was somehow able to return to our world from the world of 2935, it could bring the spirit of death itself back with it and kill us all in the process. Explorando con Beto 1 suggested, SCP-682 vs. Lady Dimitrisk. While Resident Evil 8's Lady Dimitrisk has certainly captured all of our hearts, we don't think she'll be bringing home the W on this one. Lady Dimitrisk has a powerful adaptive ability of her own with a high resistance to damage, impressive regenerative abilities, and a number of offensive capabilities, from huge claws to a powerful dragon form. However, considering she wasn't able to defeat Ethan Winters, she probably wouldn't be able to defeat SCP-682 either. However, in her dragon form, SCP-682 may finally join the rest of us in developing a crush. Or is that being crushed? Anyway, moving on. Jonathan Peckany suggested, just ask SCP-343 on how to destroy it, or even better, ask if he could destroy it. It's an idea so good that the Foundation actually tried it, and it went about as well as you can expect. When the SCP known as God entered the containment chamber, he couldn't even see 682 in there, as though the creature was somehow totally invisible to him. When God eventually got bored and left, they told him that he was in there to destroy 682. He simply replied, He's not one of mine. Deal with him yourself. Interpret that how you will. 12 Escobar Blanca's Eddie Saul suggested they could send him to Area 37 for the sisters to experiment with. SCP-1765 The Sisters are a trio of terrifyingly powerful reality warpers that have taken over Area 37 and spend their days tormenting everyone inside with their twisted experiments. Using them to try to terminate 682 leads to similar problems with using the Witch Child or the Devourer of Worlds. If they decide to team up rather than fighting, or the sisters take over 682, we'd all be effectively doomed. Kiroya suggested, Would the ants from SCP-743 tear 682 apart? The Foundation actually tried this, getting 682 to consume chocolate from the SCP-743 fountain, incurring the wrath of its flesh-eating ants. However, 682 developed an adaptation that gave it a long, anteater-like tongue that it then used to consume the ants faster than they could consume it. And even worse, the chocolate seemed to enhance its regenerative abilities even more for several days afterwards. Ball 2222 suggested, write the name in the death note. Great idea! We'll put it into practice as soon as you can tell us SCP-682's real name. It may come as a surprise, but its parents didn't actually name it the hard-to-destroy reptile. Steven Vieri suggested, I thought that maybe we should put him in a giant blender, and then when he's in small pieces, put lava in the blender, so it will incinerate him, then put nuclear waste into the blender and repeat that until there's no more left of him. After the cooking whisks last time, we feel obliged to include at least one attempt to kill SCP-682 with oversized kitchen equipment in every video about him. However, this attempt would probably go about as well as the last one, we're afraid. Extreme physical trauma by conventional means, like burning and dismemberment, has never been successful in the past. 
and the Foundation is extremely hesitant to use anything radioactive on the beast, in case it adapts and adds deadly radiation to its own arsenal. Mr. Master IQ suggested, just take away his plot armor. You can pry SCP-682's plot armor from its cold, dead claws, and as we've already learned, making those claws cold and dead seems next to impossible. Moving on, JC3 suggested, Hmm, if anyone can't beat the Undying Lizard, why not Omni-Man? I mean, he did kill all the Guardians of the Globe, of course he can kill SCP-682. Omni-Man from the comic and TV series Invincible is undeniably a formidable opponent, given he's able to destroy superhero teams, cities, and even planets. However, one of the few enemies to give Omni-Man a genuine run for his money is a genetically enhanced kaiju known as Hail Mary. Given that first, 682 has taken on being stronger than Omni-Man, like the Gate Guardian, and lived, and second that Omni-Man has struggled with monsters before, chances are he probably couldn't permanently kill this one either. Heikani Havea suggested, kill SCP-053, then 682 will be sad and die. Wow, now that's cold-blooded. However, even if this did work, it's important for you to remember that it's impossible to actually kill SCP-053, also known as the child or the little girl. Part of her anomalous abilities is that anyone who attempts to kill her will themselves immediately die during the process, normally due to a heart attack. So this method would result in a pile of dead Foundation personnel and no progress. Jerry Zhang said, mush peanut butter on it. This would definitely work if 682 had some kind of severe peanut allergy. After all, anaphylactic shock is no laughing matter. However, in the far more likely event that this will have no effect on SCP-682, you will likely just die with your hands covered in peanut butter. Andrew Mills suggested, My idea? Have several Xenomorphs, Predators, and Daleks, yes, that's a Doctor Who reference, take 682 on. Once again, in all likelihood, this would have no effect. 682 has survived blades and lasers, the primary weapons of the Predators and Daleks, and spends the majority of its life immersed in powerful acid, so the Xenomorph would hold no surprises for it. Sadly, this three-way team-up would be no match for 682, and even if it did defeat him, whoever wins, we, um, well, you know how it goes. Mateo Huang suggested, maybe just destroy reality. This... This might be the thing that finally kills SCP-682, but considering it's already survived being thrown into pure nothingness in Russia, it may just result in it being one of the only survivors of a full destruction of reality. We, on the other hand, would all be killed, though in a sense we wouldn't have to deal with SCP-682 anymore. So maybe that's a type of winning? And finally, Blind Honor suggested, would Saitama be a good way to eliminate it? He is One Punch Man, after all. Of anyone we've covered in this series, Saitama from One Punch Man would probably be the most likely to kill SCP-682, especially if he was taking the battle seriously. After all, he has killed planet-destroying monsters before with barely any effort. The only real question is whether he could be bothered to come down to a Foundation containment site and fight it. Saitama hasn't been known to be a very motivated guy. But of course, like with anything, there's the risk that 682 would survive and gain his powers. Which would be bad. Awesome, but bad. Do you have new ideas for how SCP-682 could be killed? Do you think you have the key to finally bringing this beast to a well-deserved end? Let us know down in the comments, and keep an eye on our community post for more SCP questions like this one so you can be featured in the next video. Now go check out Termination Attempts SCP-682 and how to kill SCP-682 theories and ideas for more futile attempts to murder the Foundation's ornariest reptile.